effort to permanently remove Ken Paxton from office falling short Saturday. Parker Nay is Nay. After roughly two weeks of trial and 10 hours of deliberations, senators cast their votes. Not a single article of impeachment got close to the 21 votes needed to convict the attorney general. Only two Republicans voted for some of the most serious charges. Paxton himself did not attend Saturday, but his defense team praising the vote, returning the AG to his position. This should have never happened, and, and I, I want to thank Thank the court for giving us a just trial on behalf of Attorney General Ken Paxton. We are proud of the case we put on. We should not have had to prove our innocence, but that's what we did. And we believe that the court reached the right verdict. Despite failing to get a conviction, House managers defended the earlier decision to impeach Paxton. This trial painted an accurate and clear picture of an out of control Attorney General who refused to listen to the desperate warnings of his conservative lawyers that he had entrusted to help run his office. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick criticized House leaders for bringing the charges and called for a constitutional amendment to change the process. The speaker and his team ran through the first impeachment of a statewide official in Texas in over 100 years while paying no attention to the precedent that the House set in every other impeachment before. We owe it to future legislatures to make these changes. But House Speaker Dade Phelan responded by praising the work the House did and saying Patrick's statement was a confession of bias and the outcome of the trial appears to have been orchestrated from the start, a sentiment echoed by the House impeachment managers. You would always believe in a trial that the judge is not aware of the outcome, um, but he did seem to have prepared notes ready to attack members of the House and the House process.